Well, good day, Glav here. Welcome back, and thanks for checking back in. On this ride is a four-day ride, and I'm going with me mate Stewie from Darkside Riders. We're going to leave um, from Pattaya, Jom Tien, and head up over the top uh, through Sufenberry down to Kanchanaburi and spend night one there. From there, we're heading north up to Three Pagoda Pass, which is on the Burma Thai border and then head back and have a look at the Mon Bridge and stay in Sackleberry overnight. And then from here, we're going to head down and head into Pillock. And that's an interesting road, I've got to tell you. Very interesting little town, however. And then back down to Kanchanaburi for the third night. And then day four is essentially just a transport leg home. Stuart's convinced me to go across the top of Bangkok, um, which we did, which saved us about an hour in time, but won't be doing that again. The Bangkok traffic just gives me the screaming shits. Great four-day trip. Uh, hope you enjoy the video like we enjoyed the ride. Happy days. Well, it's uh, currently 6.30, quarter to seven in the morning. Stuart and I are just heading off on our four-day trip up to Three Pagoda Pass via Kanchanaburi. It's actually quite cool on the bike this morning. Not sure how many kilometres this trip's going to be. Well, it's Tuesday morning, about 7, 7.30. Stu and I are getting ready, packing the bikes, have some breakfast. Today we're heading up to Three Pagoda Pass on the Burmese border. Um, we'll go through lots of army checkpoints up there. They're checking for drugs and smugglers. Um, people smuggling, that is. Um, and then we're going to come down and stay overnight in the Mon Bridge, which is supposed to be the longest uh, uh, bridge built of timber in Thailand. Should be a good day. Not a big ride today. About 250 k's, but some tighter stuff. So I think there's only about four hours riding in it. Anyway, see how we go. Happy days. Lovely morning. Heading out of Kanchanaburi. Must say it's friggin' chipper again. Gonna be cold for the next hour or two before the warms up. So we're heading north towards Sayok. We're actually parallel to the River Kwai here. It's beautiful country through here, nice lush and green. It's a bit hazy today, so you can't see the mountains directly in front of us. I always like riding up through here. So that we're heading, actual heading towards Hellfire Pass. We'll continue to head north from there. Just beautiful, love it, love it. I'm about an hour's north of when I was chatted to you last time. Still going through this beautiful countryside. The actual River Kwai, Kwai, is about. 100 metres to my left, you can't see it through the jungle here, but we're actually ghosting it all the way north. It's a beautiful day today, it's probably still only 20 degrees, just gorgeous. Love this riding. Stu and I have just stopped, I've stopped here before actually, I've been to Three Pagoda Pass before, but just thought this was interesting with all these Buddhas. Four, six, eight, ten, twelve. There's about twenty each side. There's another twenty on the other side, and then there's white Buddha on the top here. Uh, beautiful countryside. This. I don't know what this is in aid of, but it's cool. So Stuart and I have just stopped at this little coffee shop just on the side of the road. It's got all these waterfalls, it's just gorgeous. Same about me big ugly mate. This national park that we just had the coffee at's got the typical Thai two-tier pricing 
one for Thai people, which was 20 or 40 baht, and one for the Phalang, 200 baht. So needless to say, we enjoyed our food and coffee, but did not, not go in. This is Highway 323. What a beautiful bit of road this is. I've been along it before, but I just don't remember it. It's just twisty motorcycle road. It's just gorgeous. It's cool from all the trees. Shame you've got a car in front of you, but that won't be for long. Such a... So it's about 50 k south of Sonkleberry. I didn't get the camera on time, I don't think, but hopefully we'll come back up on the lake. We're sort of going around the edge of just gorgeous. camera won't pick it up, it's all out to my left there. Oh, this is beautiful through here. Oh, there's a lake on the left again. It's gorgeous. So Stu and I are just rolling up on a checkpoint here. Let's see what they ask. Town here. There's the three little pagodas right in front of us. This is the three pagoda pass. Well, this is literally it. Three pagoda pass, and these little three little pagodas behind us there three little white things just look like little pimples on her face that's it so we're right on the um, Thai Burmese or Myanmar border now um, we just got stopped at a checkpoint um, first time ever they've been made us pull up and go right through our papers interesting nice though I mean polite Thai army and police guys but first time ever but there you go um, right behind me here is um, Burma. In fact, if you look over there, that, uh, those buildings you see over in the background there, that's actually Burma, um, not Thailand. Um, Thais used to be able to go in there and come back out and Phalang could not, foreigners cannot. Um, if we were to cross there and come back now, <laughs> back into quarantine, so that's something obviously we don't want to do. Anyway, we're on the border, three pagoda pass, done. So this is my mate's raft bed on the floor, a dunny, shower, that's essentially it's late afternoon, it's about 4.30 and that's the view, he's staying on the lake. For under 600 baht. For under 600 baht. For Aussies that's about, uh, I don't know, 25 bucks I guess. Cool. This is the Mon Bridge which is the longest surviving timber bridge in Thailand. We're up near the Burmese Myanmar border, sorry, the Myanmar Thai border. And so we've come here and with this timber bridge built across the lake. Do you know the name of the lake? No, I don't. No, he doesn't. Not much help, is he? No. We'll have a look at it. Cool.
Very, very cool. Well, good morning. It's uh, just before seven. I'm heading round to Stew's. I was going to take some drone footage, but the fog has rolled in. Who'd believe it? Fog has rolled in. I want to get some drone footage of the bridge, and the fog is in deep, deep, deep. I've never seen fog here in Thailand before. There's the Mon Bridge. I am going to be able to get some drone footage. It's about 805 <coughs> metres long or something like that. Pretty cool. Backtracking away from Sankleberry. We're heading down to Pillock. It must, it's not a lot of distance, but must be a tight road in there because GPS is showing it's almost three hours to get there, but should be interesting. This is a gorgeous road to ride, as I said, coming in yesterday. We're just following the lake all the way around. It's just gorgeous, twisty. I think this is the 3272. Massive dam on the right. Gorgeous. This road's great too, very twisty supposed to take us an hour and a half to do 60 k's but I can assure you it won't. Have a look at this road into Pilot. Holy dooly, she's nice and twisty. It's about 30 or 40 kilometers of this. Just stopped at this lookout halfway up to Pilak, Pilak. Holy crap, that road's rough, dirt, potholes, tight. We're right in the mountains as you can see here. That's bad. Well, if the road wasn't tight enough and interesting enough, it's dirt now. And there's traffic both ways. Bloody Nora. We went through a pillar village and we decided that we were going to run the road out to the border and we've come across this little town which is Pillock as well. It's seriously cool. Just really, really nice. Got this little lake here and it's cool. And you can see up on the hill there, we're going to have to go up on the hill. I think these uh, fish are pretty well fed. They're not yeah. going absolutely nuts. Just had a coffee down in the little township down there. I've got to say, it's pretty cool. And lots of Thai backpackers and pretty cool little town, really. We've come up to this lot. I don't know what you'd call it really. Of 
got to say for a Thai temple this one isn't particularly well maintained not like most are this is called the 19k viewpoint I presume it's 19k out of Pillock don't really know So they're the stairs in front of Stuart and I, and then there's a choice of a cable car. I'm going to taste the cable car. Up on the top now, um, we didn't walk the stairs, we paid double the price because we're foreigners to come. People playing at some Buddhas. This is cool, this is big. Good morning, it's 6.30am, it's freezing cold for Thailand, I don't know, it's probably about 15 degrees, I've only got my normal club shirt on so I'm freezing, heading out of Kanchanaburi, but I might as well get the hell out of here and get home. So we're cutting across the top of Bangkok today, so I haven't done this way for a long time, we'll see how we go, I hope it doesn't get ugly with the traffic. Anyway, we'll see. Happy days. Hey, just remember people, life can be ever so short. Therefore, as I always say, live life today.